Hey, it's Andy from DIY Band. Today we're going to be looking at how to get the most out of your acoustic guitar recordings, um, like mic placement and things like that. Uh, firstly, I think I should probably apologise for the lack of content I've been posting out recently. There are a few reasons for it. Are you alright? I think you might have guessed one of them. One, Christmas. Two, New Year's. That's not really an excuse, is it, really? Do people do? Anyway, three... I got a dog. His name is Murphy. He is a rescue. Uh, he's eight months old. Even though he doesn't, he looks like a massive dog. He is a massive dog. He thinks he's that big though. You can go away now. You can go away now. I've got a video to do. Go away. <laughs> So basically what we're going to be doing is testing different uh, mic placements through your guitar and how it really changes the sound of the guitar. Um, and there is no right or wrong way to do it, it basically depends on the song um, and your own preference as well. I'm not going to be covering uh, the mixing side of it at all, just the different, it's going to be, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do it all raw, I'll let you know if I don't. Um, and it's not going to cover um, electroacoustic guitars either, so you know ones that you can plug straight in. Um, the only reason for that is I don't really like recording uh, electroacoustic guitars because it doesn't sound like an acoustic guitar to me. Um, I think that's that's mainly for like live environment to put it through a PA or whatever. Um, whereas when you're listening to a guitar, no one ever listens to an acoustic guitar from inside. The guitar do they so that's why i don't really feel like that's a very accurate representation for recordings um so straight ahead to our first mic placement i'm going to be using one mic at this point um we've got a condenser mic here and it we've got a condenser mic here and i'm gonna have it pointing straight at the hole straight at the hole in your in your acoustic guitar so we'll listen to see how that sounds like, and you'll probably be quite boomy, and you'll hear a lot of what I'm doing with this hand, um, and it'll be very bassy, I feel. Okay, so you can hear that now, where it is quite really... It is very bottom end, um, and you're getting, again, all the sound directly coming out of the ear, pointing straight out. So mic placement number two is uh, pretty much the same, but instead we're pointing it at the 12th fret. Um, that way you get a nice balance between uh, the boomy side of it and, and the less boomy side of it, I guess. So you get a nice balance there of both things. So I'm going to play exactly the same thing um, and see if you can hear a difference here. Okay, so there, you know, there's there's definitely a difference there, isn't there? And that's just pointing it away from the hole in your acoustic guitar um, to the 12th fret, and it just gives it a nice little balance there. Um, now, another way to do this, if you wanted uh, more diverse, is to put it in front. So what we're going to do is put the mic in front of the hole of the of your acoustic guitar but point it away from it. So now what it's doing, it's capturing just off the side of the diaphragm of the, of the, of the mic, it's gonna be capturing that low end. Um, and then it will be capturing from 12th fret upwards, really, um, all those sounds that come from here as well. Definitely did that, it's whatever, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna show you one more thing, one more, my, which is my favorite way of doing it, uh, is actually using two mics. Might be cheating, I mean, I'm not gonna call this video one mic setup. 
if it is from that point one mic setup and that's how you can get like three different mediums uh, of um of three different sounds <laughs> from one mic on one acoustic guitar as easy as that no mixing involved now from this point i'll be using these two mics i've got this one pointed pretty much at the uh the whole of your acoustic guitar and this one's pointed directly at the 12th fret um and that way I get a nice bleed of both between the two, but I can also then adjust it in my door. Okay, so we'll go through the same thing again. And this one, I'll get to sound good as I'm playing it, all right? <laughs> Start again. Now what you can hear there is that you get a really nice mixture of, of you know, well, I, I kind of like all the, the, depends what song you're kind of playing, but where you can hear the plectrum hitting the string, so. And you're more likely to pick up uh, your fingers moving across the strings as well if you want that authentic, real sound. So, um, that's the, the video that I've got today for you um, of mic placements with your acoustic guitar and how to get the most out of the recording of it. Um, and then afterwards, you know, you go ahead and mix it in, in your door with all your VSTs and, and make, that, make that track sound real good. Um, thanks again. I know I've gained, gained quite a few subscribers whilst I've not actually been posting videos and I'm really, truly sorry about that. Um, but there, you know, there's nothing left to look forward to. Yeah, now is there? Not for a good few months anyway, until birthdays and that roll around. So I should um, be throwing out some more videos there for you. Uh, until next time, Andy, DIY Band, see you later. Keep me satisfied and I will try to come for you.